Hey guys, I've been challenged again by my good friend Jay. After I posted the multiple functions on a single momentary switch, Jay went into the comment section and posted this one about having his slider say pan right, pan left, or gain knob saying gain up. Jay wants to know how I can make my slider say pan right or pan left. So I know that Jay flies FPV and he likes that pan and tilt on his radio. So if he pans his camera right, how does he get the radio to say you're going right? If he pans it left, how do you get it to say going left? And the same thing because I know he's using that Eagle Tree Vector flight computer and he's dialing some gain in. He might want his computer to say or his radio to say, hey, the gain's going up or the gain's going down. So let's jump into how to do that. Now, one thing I'll admit right away is I don't have any control over the sound pack that's available in the Amber sound pack. My options are limited. So I took what I, what I viewed as the closest option. Let's jump into the logical switches. I broke it into two groups. On the top, you'll see that I've got L01 and L02 already defined. And on the bottom, I've got L04 and L05 defined. L1 and L2 are related to my slider. I'm just gonna call this my right slider. Uh, and say that our pan is on the right slider, okay? Now the function that we're gonna use in this case is D is greater than X. And what that function does is it evaluates if the difference in an input is exceeded by a value. So the input that I'm gonna examine is the right slider. The value that I'm looking for is any change over one. On logical switch number two, I have the same exact function in use and the same exact switch in use, but notice I'm using a negative one. The idea here is that if the delta is negative, L02 is gonna light. If the delta is positive, L01 is gonna light. So let's take a look at the special function and we'll check it out in the simulator. So in the special function, L01, if that one lights, I'm gonna assume that's positive. I would like this to say, pan right, but there's no audio file for that. So I'm going to use positive. Alternatively, you could use beeps. You could have like three beeps at a time for a movement to the right and maybe one beep for a movement to the left or a different style of beep. But again, unfortunately, I'm limited to the sound pack. If you want to go in and learn how to record wave files, Google that because you can put your own wave file in the radio and you could say pan left, pan right and use your audio track for this value. But for the purpose of this video, this should be sufficient to demonstrate what we're after. So here's positive, positive, and here's negative. Okay, so if we are increasing in value, I'm gonna hear positive. If we're decreasing in value, I'll hear negative. So let's simulate that and check it out. All right, so logical switch number one is going to illuminate if we have a positive change to our right slider, okay? So here's the right slider, and I'm gonna look for any positive change should illuminate logical switch one, and I should get a value of positive. Positive, 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 positive. And that happened. Negative. Okay. okay, now that'll happen if I start all the way at the bottom, because if you think of the concept of a pan and tilt, and I've got my pan all the way to the left, any movement from there on going toward the right is a positive movement. It's a turn to the right, okay? So this, if that's why I have the switch down here at the bottom. By putting it on the bottom, we can evaluate and make sure that any movement upward is considered positive. Positive, 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 positive. Okay, so that just proves that any movement toward the right is considered positive. And now, since we're at the top of the slider, any movement down will be considered negative. Negative, 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 negative. So that's it. That's the pan and tilt. Now, the gain is very, very similar, okay? Same function. We're looking at the S2 switch. This will be our gain knob, and we're gonna use the same exact criteria. The only thing that I've done in special functions is I've used a track that says gain max. So if I turn my S2 to the right, I'm gonna see a gain max or a gain plus. If I turn my 
S2 to the left or down, I'm gonna see gain min, okay? So let's bring up our logical switches, hit the simulator, bring up the logical switch monitor, and we're looking for logical switches four and five. Four if I spin the knob to the right, and five if I spin the knob to the left. So here we go. We're gonna to spin to the right and look over here for logical four to illuminate. Gain maximum, gain maximum, gain maximum, gain maximum, gain maximum. Okay, again, I'm limited by the audio files available. Um, you could also use this for positive and negative if you wanted to, or you can create your own audio track. But I think the function is there and it proves that the function works. Now I'm going to spin the knob the other direction. We're going to turn it down and it'll say gain min. Gain minimum, gain minimum, gain minimum, gain minimum, gain minimum. There we go. All right, guys, that was a quick down and dirty. I did that for my good friend, Jay. I know he's uh, pretty competent when it comes to managing his radio configurations on OpenTX and he's got some real skill in long range FPV. So if he had that question, I'm pretty sure that it would be on other folks' mind as well. So I hope you enjoyed that material. If you did, a like and a subscribe and a comment would be awesome. I'd appreciate that. That's all I've got for tonight. Take it easy.